Welcome back, Matrix members. This is the third segment, and we're going to dive into Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. We're going to explore how these principles can be applied in your life. Our guest, Albert E. Well, is a renowned life coach from Napoleon Hill Institute, and he will be sharing practical tips and actionable insights on how to effectively use these principles for growth and success. Albert's own journey is a testament to transformative power of these principles. If you're ready to unlock your potential and lead a fulfilling life filled with purpose, satisfaction, and success, then stay tuned and learn how to leverage these principles for your own benefit. How has Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich impacted your life? Wow. So in addition to meeting all of the founding members and coaches in New York City, I actually got to meet you as well, Samantha, which was amazing in itself because we started a journey together not knowing how it would impact each other. And as you just described, your impact has been life-changing in less than two months. And I think that you mentioned to me in the first 30 days that you noticed significant change, right? Oh, yeah. I went, I went from making pennies to a couple of thousand in the first month. So you remember me telling you that I didn't feel respected in my industry. I didn't feel well compensated. And, you know, there are several other things that the old me had. And I've shed them because now I've created three books in one year. The first one, Hashtag Hacked, was an award-winning book on cybersecurity and how to protect yourself online. Free tips at thehackedbook.com. Shameless plug there, but they're free. Um, the second book, Hashtag Hack 2, I started a month after I published the first one, and 14 people came forward to me to say, we want to be in your second book. And we published it. It was roughly four months and became a number one international bestseller in four countries and 40 categories. Wow. The third book, My Year with Bob, we're showcasing to producers and directors in Hollywood. Now, that was in one year. The book, the first book, Hashtag Hacked, started within 30 days. So the transformation is continual and it's constant and it's ever improving. Oh my gosh. Where you start from doesn't matter. The goal is to start. You have to make that decision. And when you make that decision, it's a committed decision because you want to change something. More love, more health, more wealth, um, notoriety, all of the above. It doesn't matter. But if you don't want it, then it's not going to happen. Oh, there's this uh, one story that you told me when I first met you that totally inspired me with a conversation you had with Cleona. And I would love to, if you can give us a a little view of how it was like when you first picked up that momentum, what it took for you to get it started that got you to have the commitment, the speed that you were able to publish three books, two best-selling ones, one going to Hollywood. You know, what was the beginning of that momentum? Oh, again... It was a a long time for me to get started into the coaching program. And that was my old quote unquote paradigm. That's a Bob Proctor term. Shameless plug for Bob, but he's no longer here. This is what we have learned growing up from people that we respected, our family, our teachers, and things of that nature. They don't really know what's going on, but they tried to help us. In my mind, I was starting work at eight o'clock in the morning and I was working from home for the most part. So I would get up at 7 a.m. And after I committed to starting the coaching program, Cleona said to me, well, I want you to get up at 530 so that you have time to study the material, to read, to do your homework and understand where you're going. Now, I didn't quite understand that, but I said, well, I only get up at seven to start work at eight because my office is 20 seconds down the hallway. Anyway, after grabbing coffee and breakfast, you know, it's an easy stroll. 
the commute isn't rough at all. Okay. It's not DC or LA or even downtown Pittsburgh going through the tunnels. And I started getting up at six. I said, I'll get up at six. That's an extra hour. You said, I need an hour. I'll give you the hour. And I started at six. And in two weeks after studying the material starting at six, I decided that I needed more time. And I called Cleona and I said, look, you are right. I'm getting up at 530 now without the alarm. I need more time to study the material. I I am embracing it. And it's, wow, it's captivating. It's fulfilling. It's changing my world. And it really did. And within 30 days of starting the program, that's when I had the knowledge that I should write a book based on my what I do in cybersecurity. Ooh, I would love to know what was the moment, like, do you remember the moment where you're like, ding, I'm going to do it? Like, when did you like to start writing? Like, what happened right before you started writing? I was watching Bob Proctor and he was talking about multiple sources of income and the different income strategy levels, M1, M2, and M3. And, you know, he's, he's like, you know, some of you could write a book. And I'm always like, wow, I could write a book like that. That was a quantum shift. Yes, yes. And that's why I, I created my Facebook group called Quantum Shift Advisor with Albert Whale. So you can find me on Facebook, Quantum Shift Advisor. Subscribe. I have a free gift there for you. Say hello. Book a call. Well, we can have a conversation and talk about what it is you want to do. Yes. And at the end of the podcast, Albert and I will tell you what the surprise gift is because it, it's a big deal. You're going to tell them? Oh, my gosh. You have to <laughs> stick around to the end, though, right? Yes, absolutely. What are some of the key principles from Napoleon Hill's teachings that you find yourself incorporating into your coaching very often? Oh, you know, the number one thing is um, what is your purpose? What is, what is it you want to do? And why do you want to do it? Okay. And then when that's discovered, being able to focus on it helps. But I also work with my clients to work on their gratitude. And I tell my family, you know, the attitude that you should have is gratitude. Not an attitude, but gratitude. Because what you're appreciating more, you get more of. As well as service. When you give to others and supporting them, it doesn't have to be money. It could be time could be just generosity, being cordial, making them laugh. My, my favorite thing to do is make people smile <laughs> because they won't remember what I tell them about cybersecurity or anything else. doesn't matter if I'm talking about Napoleon Hill and Think and Grow Rich, but if I can make them feel good or smile like you have that generous smile on your face there, Samantha, you'll always remember that I put a smile on your face. That's so true. <laughs> that is so true. We all want to like, we all want to work with people who make us feel like remind us that we're human. Because it, The strange thing in this world today is that the most human interaction we get is when we actually are looking for service. It's, I don't even think it's like relationships anymore. And um, to have some, a warm, welcoming person to work with, like, I will remember that for life. I'd be like, Oh, I want to go to that guy because makes me feel human, doesn't feel so transactional. Right, exactly. How do these principles help individuals unlock their potential? Well, we start by getting rid of their limiting beliefs and their blocks. Those things that we call the paradigm. You know, how much do you think you can earn? How much was the most that you earned was one of Bob Proctor's favorite questions. Just to find out what's in your head what do you think that you can do to earn money? And why is it where you are? You know, Bob took a, a guy from prison, got him paroled. Now, the guy wasn't making any money in prison. Matter of fact, the guy started out heckling Bob Proctor. So Bob told him, you know, you're not the smartest guy here, are you? Because when this webinar is done and this seminar is done, I get to leave. You're going to be locked up here. And nobody talked down to this guy before in their life. 
And from that moment on, this guy was Bob's biggest supporter instead of his biggest detractor. You know, there's always some guy that heckles and everybody's afraid of them. But Bob stood up to him. And that guy was his biggest supporter. And Bob got him and told the parole board that he needed him to work for him in London. And he took him to London to be his right-hand man. Now, is that life-changing or what? Think that your limitation or where you're starting today is worse? I beg to differ. Because it doesn't matter where you start. What matters is that you do start. Absolutely. And the commitment... Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey, Matrix members. Remember, personal growth and success are lifelong journeys. Every step brings you closer to your goals. As Napoleon Hill said, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Start by implementing one of Hill's principles each day. Small steps can lead to big changes. And remember, you have the potential to achieve great things. With the right mindset and the tools we've discussed today, if you're ready to take the next step, join the Quantum Shift Advisors Facebook group and start your journey toward personal growth and success. Don't let another day pass you feeling unfulfilled and unsure in your path. The time to act is right now. Click the link in the description below to join. Albert and the rest of the community are there waiting for you. Let's start creating your dream life today. As you embark on your journey towards self-improvement, remembering remember this empowering mantra. I am the master of my destiny and I am the captain of my soul. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the Quantum Shift Advisor Facebook group. Let's achieve greatness together.